Hey everyone, Christian here, and I was riding my uh, bike down the road and came across this little palmetto, and I pass by this quite a bit. It's a pretty busy intersection right here, 776 and 41 in South Venice. And uh, when you ride your bike, you kind of notice a little bit more detail because you don't have to focus on the actual road as much. And I came across this palmetto, and it's flowering, and it's actually producing viable seeds. The flowers look healthy, the seed looks healthy, and uh, the fronds, although they're a little bit smaller, um, and they're they're a little bit dwarfish. But the the plant itself, uh, you know, I'm standing up right now, and I'm, it's about as tall as I am, so maybe an inch or so taller, so about six feet. And <clears throat> Although I've come across palmettos uh, flowering this early before, usually they won't flower until they're about to trunk at the very least. But uh, for some reason, some of them flower earlier. And the main reason for this one, and you can kind of tell by seeing it surrounding to the base, is that it's uh, it's stunted. And the reason that it's stunted is that they actually cut out a part of the sidewalk for where there seems to be some sort of sewer um, attachment there or access point. And... Um, it it appears that they let it they let it, they kept it there they didn't decided not to chop it down or maybe they couldn't because of the sewer access point and so as a result the plant would grow but in a very limited area I, don't, I have a feeling that it doesn't have much soil beneath it to be able to explore out and it probably won't get any thicker than the trunk that it is right now I would be surprised if this palm ever trunked and I see this a lot on you'll see premature flowering on palms that uh, either are stunted or recently transplanted. And so this happened, I noticed this a lot with very, a lot of palmate palms. I don't know if it happens really as much with, uh, with pinnate or crown shafted palms, but um, this will happen not to the extent that it has here, but uh, to the point where it is uh, flowering about half the normal age. This happens a lot in on the East Coast in Limestone in Dade County, where you know in Miami and Fort Lauderdale, right along the coast, these uh, palmettos don't have any soil to grow in, so they they kind of just they get stunted on their own. They'll have the same width trunk, but they won't. Uh, they just won't get that beefy. Uh, I mean, the, the the amount of height that they would normally get. You know, the, a palmetto of this this uh, stature would probably be close to 10 years old and so part of its uh, you know, living mechanism is to make sure it could at least reproduce before it uh, were to die and you know it's I guess being stunted it always has a concern of dying same with transplanted palms so if you transplant uh, say a decent sized palm into a big container sometimes it'll put out a flower if you're really looking for seed of a certain plant and you need to transplant it, sometimes uh, shocking it a little bit will uh, put out seed. I don't think that's very healthy. You're not going to get a lot of seed. You will get a uh, flower bract a lot of the time, um, but you may, not get, you may not get viable seed at all. But I have seen it happen, specifically in uh, like Zambia and Cocothrinax. That happens quite a bit. And Pseudophoenix. I've seen Pseudophoenix flowering and producing viable seed in a seven-gallon container, which is quite small, considering most of the time they have to have at least like three or four feet of wood before they'll, before they'll put out a flower so quite interesting but um you know there are a number of these you know around town and around the state i mean there's hundreds if not thousands of examples probably tens of thousands of examples but you don't get to see them very often displayed so nicely here right in front of this chevy dealership and so i figured i would go ahead and get the video instead of wandering into the woods or someone's uh, private uh property and so uh, you can see there's actually a few different stages here. There's uh, flowers, like they're receptive right there, just to the right of the actual um, uh, seed. In the infrastructure there it looks like it's almost ready. So there's different, you know, and this one looks like it has passed, the one on the left looks like it's passed um, receptiveness, receptivity, I should say. And behind it, there's different varying degrees. There's some seeds that are developing. So it's actually producing a decent amount of seed. So, uh, it's not going to produce a dwarf palmetto. It's just coming from a dwarf palmetto. I mean, there may be some weird uh, things like the leaves might be more compact, but I, I doubt it. I don't believe that is passed on. But uh, the, you know, the trunk is about half the girth that it should be for a plant of this size. And just really comes down to its roots being confined to that small square area there. 
uh, next to the sidewalk. So, anyway, uh, I thought people of the channel would enjoy uh, seeing these stunted palms that put out uh, flowers at a, what seems to be an early age, but it's probably no earlier than any other palm that's given the open area to plant. So, if you enjoyed this video and the rev from that Ferrari, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel and you uh, enjoy tropical plants and discussing them, uh, consider subscribing, hitting that bell notification. I do go live quite a bit. You can see me wander around different towns looking at plants live. If you have any questions about stunted palms and why this happens, I'll leave it down below and I'll get back to everyone as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.